Hi, it's Pastor Paul Anderson from the Fountain of Raleigh Fellowship, where we believe God's blessings never stop flowing. It is Worshipful Wednesday. It's that time in the middle of the week that you and I can pause and say, God, I thank you for all the wonderful things you're doing in me, with me, and through me, and what you're doing in this world. We thank God for what he's doing. Today, our text comes to us. It, it follows right on the heels of this past Sunday's message out of John, the first chapter, verses 29 through 34. Uh, it talks about that uh, John the Baptist now sees Jesus coming. He has been baptizing people for remission of sins. And then he points and says, look, behold, the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sins of this world. My brothers and sisters, I want to just pause and talk about that part for just a moment. Behold, the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sins of this world. John had it so right. And if John had it right and we say we're Christians, we should have it right, too. We should point to Jesus, the one who is the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of this world. It's now time for all of us who believe what we say we preach to let everybody know that God loves you. God forgives you of your sins. And for that reason, I'm not holding any grudges against you as well. We live in a world today and the climate that we're in and COVID-19 and all the things that we have seen happening in the news media over the past week or so that we need to learn to be able to pardon people and go forward. God does something. He forgives us of our sins even before we ask him. It's a matter of us asking for forgiveness. It is then when we have confessed our sins and we can fully actualize the forgiveness of God. Because if someone pardons you, it means that they've forgiven you and you didn't even have to do a thing. But oftentimes we take that for granted and we don't understand what really has happened. But when we finally convince ourselves that I am wrong and I need to ask for forgiveness, it is then that we can see true redemption takes place. Our text on today lets us see that God has done all the work for us at Calvary. He sent his son Jesus to down the cross for our sins that we might have eternal life. And for that reason, we shouldn't think that God's grace and mercy is cheap, but it was a very high price that was paid. And so therefore we should take it very seriously and say, God, I accept your love. I accept your forgiveness. And I want to be who and what you would have me to be. May God bless you on this worshipful Wednesday. Worship God and tell him thank you for sending to this world Jesus the Christ, the Lamb which takes away all of our sins. And for that reason, we can say, God, we thank you. God bless you. I'll see you on tomorrow. To sow a seed to the Fountain of Raleigh Fellowship, visit our newly redesigned website, thefountainofraleigh.org, and select Sow a Seed from the homepage. Also, giving has been made easier with the new Fountain of Raleigh app, available now in the Apple App Store and Google Play Store. Download today, select Giving from the main menu, and then follow the directions to complete your giving through Subsplash. Thank you so very much for all of your gifts and donations that you've given to the Fountain of Raleigh Fellowship. We thank you for what you've done in the past, what you're currently doing, and what you will do in the future. Your gifts and donations helps us to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ, not only locally, but throughout the world. Thank you again for your gifts, and may God continue to richly bless you. It is here at the Fountain that we believe that we are exceedingly and abundantly blessed, and may you receive those blessings that God has in store for you. Okay.